Maybe there are people heading to jobs that they just don't like, but the idea of changing careers can be so overwhelming, it's more of a pain than just dealing with that bad job. Or is it? We're asking an expert this morning. Financial expert Brant Brock is back to talk about it, to talk about changing careers. So is it a bad a bad idea? I mean, we've heard how bad the economy is. It's all we've talked about the last two, three years. Is now a good time, really, to change jobs? Well, it would certainly be a good time if you're in an industry that you might expect to be in a prolonged downturn. We've kind of seen that with some of the construction industry, that sort of thing. Uh, but on the flip side, uh, there is always some risk in changing jobs because you might be the low man on the totem pole and maybe potentially the first one to cut in the next recession. So. So and, that's something to think about. And know, also your, your health insurance, your 401k, right. when you, you know, start at a new company, there's usually a delay, 60 days at least. Well, and on the 401k, it could be as long as a year. Mm -hmm. So those are certainly issues to think about. And we had talked earlier that, that you, having an adequate cash reserve is also important because of those kinds of transitionary costs. And especially if you're having to relocate to change careers, then, you know, you might be selling a home, buying a home, there might be remodeling or setup costs, moving costs, lots of things to plan for. How much cash do you need? Well, it's, it really kind of depends on your circumstances. You know, if you're buying and selling a $100,000 home, the cost of the realtor costs and some of those transition costs may not be as big if you're buying and selling a half a million dollar home. So you need to take that into account. Are there any fields out there that uh, are, are promising right now that more people are, are jumping into? Well, certainly we have certain demographics at play in our, our uh, country and people are getting older and so there's increasing demand in virtually all our healthcare professions, nursing, physical therapy, number of doctors and, and things like that. So that would definitely be an area to look at. And of course, some of these require, uh, in, in some cases, going back to school. That's another option that people have. Right. And that would be another cost to factor in as well as the time. You know, mm -hmm. Do you do it? While you're doing your current job, do you do it? Do you go ahead and quit your current job and go to school full time to kind of make it go faster? And there are loans and grants available, but that's still a huge chunk of cash. Yep. And in some cases, sometimes the new employer or something like that might be able to help with those costs. So lots to explore. Can you give me an idea money-wise, like percentage of my income? Could you do it that way if I were looking to change careers? How much should I have set aside? Well, it, it's hard to say as a percentage of income because it depends on all these factors. If you're going to have to go back to school, how many semesters are you looking at? Is it two years? And two years of expenses would be quite a, a bit to have set aside as well as the cost of the tuition and books and that sort of thing. Um, so it, it's really difficult to think about in those terms. And especially you could be transitioning up into a better career than maybe what you had before. So maybe Basically, loans wouldn't be a bad option if you're able yeah. to... Increase. Pay them off quickly because you yeah. get a better job that pays better, but basically don't tell your boss to shove it without a backup plan. Oh. Either have some savings or have another job lined up. Oh, even in, in any case, it's never the right thing to cut ties in a negative way with any employer because you want to use them as a reference and those kinds of things down the road. They want to, your new employer is going to want to be able to hear that you did a good job, even if it was in a different career. Great. Brent, thank, thank you, you so much. Yep. Good advice this morning.